Hello, good evening again. Can you listen me? Let me know, please, if you can listen. Yes. Hi, yes, hey, hello. I'm sorry for that. I don't know what happened with Zoom tonight, right? And oh, it was my internet connection. I'm not pretty sure about that, but I'm here again. And I was talking about an activity that we studied yesterday about describing people, right? So do you remember some of that? ¿Se acuerdan de algunos adjetivos que aprendimos ayer? Yes, I do, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, can you tell me some of them? Mm. The color de hair. Ah, okay, we study hair color, yes. Hair color, and what about, let's see, height? Do you remember some adjective to describe height? Delgado, pues, height. Height. Alt, alto. Medium height. Short. 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 Very good. In short. And, in short. And what about well built? We have well built. How do you say delgado in English? Slim. Thin. Thin, slim, slender. Chubby. Uh, okay. Um, chubby, right? Chubby is another habit that we used to say that people is a little bit fat, right? Un poquito gordito. We use chubby. Okay, so for tonight, we're going to continue uh, learning about how to describe people, right? And tonight, we're going to have some listening practice. And also, we are going to study the following question, right? Uh, so let me show you the presentation for tonight. Okay, I'm sharing with you my screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. So this is our class number 10, Describing People. So welcome. This is the lesson objective for this class. In this session, you will learn how to describe and ask and answer a question about appearance too. So that is what we are going to learn in this class tonight. And we are going to start with this question. The first question um, to ask about general appearance is what does she look like? What does she look like? And then we answer, right? She is She's tall with red hair and she's gorgeous. And also we have this other question. Does he wear glasses? Does he wear glasses? Jen, yes, and he has a beard. Does he wear glasses? You say, yes, he has, and he has a beard. And age, how old is she? Or how old is he? And in the answer, she, she's about 32. She is in her 30s. Uh, he is in his 20s. About height, say, how tall is she? How tall is she is the question that we are going to use. And she is one meter, right? She is one meter 88. She is a six feet two. How tall is he? He is quite short. And hair, how long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark light brown, where he has brown hair. hair. He has brown hair. It's dark or light brown. So we use this question to describe in people. The first one for general appearance is what does she look like? What does he look like? And does he wear glasses? Okay, glasses right, is another way to identify people, right? Or to describe people, right? Um, does he wear glasses? Yes. And he has a beard. And the mustache, right? And the beard also is a, let's see, a physical detail that we can see in people. Okay, now let's see. Uh, for height, how tall is she? How tall is he? And for hair, how long is her hair? And what color is her hair? So let's see here. The rest of question depends on who we are talking about. Physically, what does she look like? What does he look like? Age, how old is he? How old is she? How old are they? In height, how tall is he? 
how tall is she, how tall are they? Those are the equations that we are going to study in this class. Okay, now let's see. We're going to write this equation to match this statement. I have here the answers, and you are going to help me to find out what is the equation in every in every answer or for every answer. Answer number one, my sister is 22 years old. What do you think is the question? What was the question in this? My sister is 22 years old. How old is she? Or how old is your sister? Okay, very good. How old is your sister? Thank you. That is the right question. How old is your sister? They say, my sister is 22 years old. And now I have, she is 190 centimeters. What was the question? How tall is she? Okay, let's see if you're right. Yes, how tall is she? Let's go with number three. Okay, number three, the answer is she's tall and very good looking. She's tall and very good looking. What was the question? The question is, uh, what? Uh, what does she, what does she, she look, she look like? Okay, excellent. What does she look like? What does she look like? If you are right, that was the question. What does she look like? She's tall and very good looking. Let's see number four. My sister hair is medium length. What was the question in this? Any idea? How long? How long is your sister's hair? Okay, how long is her hair? That could be right. Oh, how long is your sister's hair? Thank you so much. That was the right answer. Thank you, Claudia. Let's continue with number five. I am 40 years old. I am 40 years old. How old are you? Yes, thank you. How old are you? A number six. They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. Anyone have an idea what is the right question in this exercise? I think is what does they look like? Maybe. Can you please repeat? Maria Magdalena, can you please repeat? Um, yes, I think it is. What does they look like? Almost perfect. Almost. What, what do the, they look like? Um, okay, what do they look like? Okay, what do they look like? They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. And let's go with it. Last one. He is 180 centimeters. How tall is he? How tall is he? Okay, let me see. Yes, how tall is he? Okay, there are two mistakes in this equation. What is it? Can you find them? Tall? Yes. So in the so, sentence two and seven. Ah, uh, okay, you're right. So let me fix them. We're going to end the presentation and we're going to fix it. So with double L, right? You say tall and also tall in this one. Thank you so much. So I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. So anybody wants? Me. Thank you. So you are going to read the answers. And any other volunteer to practice tonight? Me. Reading. Okay, Maria Martinez, you are going to read the question. Maria Magdalena, the answers. 
Can you please start? Let's do it. How old is your sister? My sister is 22 years old. How tall is she? She's 190 centimeters. What does she look like? She's tall and very good looking. How long is her hair? My sister's hair is medium weight. How old are you? How old are you? I am forty years. I'm forty years old. What do they look like? They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. How tall is he? He's one hundred eight centimeters. Excellent. Okay. Excellent, thank you, very good. Very nice practice. Thank you for your help, Maria Martinez and Maria Magdalena. You did a great job in this. So, let's go with the next activity for tonight. We are going to listen, right? We are going to listen and after listening, we are going to answer the following question. The question are five and they are, what does Brian look like? How old is he? Does he has a mustache? What color is his hair? Is his hair and how tall is he? And then when you are going to tell me who in this picture is Brian. Okay, just a second. I'm gonna answer a message. Oh, why you listen? So let me see if I am sharing with you. Don't listen. Okay, let me know, please, if you can listen. One. Can you listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Pay attention, please, and try to find out which the answers are for these five questions. One, I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Do you have the answers? Okay, what does Brian look like? Do you want to listen again? Yes, please. Okay, Brian, is, Brian is beautiful. And... Oh, okay, second chance. Listen again. So, I don't want to say Brian is handsome. So, here we go. Listen again. One, I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. First question, what does Brian look like? What? He has a good looking. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, He's pretty tall. Okay, okay what He's does Brian look tall. like? He's good looking. How old is he? How old? He's 30? pretty tall. He is, he, he, is he is in his 30s. He is in his 30s. Does he has a mustache? Does he has a mustache? He has long brown hair. Okay, long brown hair. Okay, in, in the picture, who is it? Eh, de izquierda a derecha, ¿qué número es? The third one? Okay, let's see the answer here. Uh, what does Brian look like? You say good looking. Yes, you were right. Brian is good looking. Uh, how old is he? He is about 30. Very good. He is in, uh, about 30. Uh, number three, um, does he have a mustache? You say yes, right? Yes, he does. Uh, number four, what color is his hair? He has that brown hair. Okay, number five, how tall is he? He is pretty tall. Okay, you're doing well in the first listening. The volunteers, just the volunteer to practice question and answers. 
Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Claudia. Kevin, can you please read the equation and Claudia the answers? Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, one. What does Brian look like? Brian is good looking. How old is he? He's about 30. Does he has a mustache? Yes, he does. What color is his hair? He has dark brown hair. How tall is he? He's pretty tall. Thank you. Excellent practice. Thank you so much. Congratulations. You did a great job uh, answering the listening and also in the practice. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Claudia. Let's go with the next exercise. Are you ready for the next one? So listening number two. In this listening, we are going to answer the following five questions. Any volunteer to read the question? Thank you, Aida. Help me read the questions, please. Your microphone. No lo podía quitar. Okay. The question, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Okay. How, how old is Tina? How long is her hair? What color is her hair? Does she wear contact lenses? Is her hairy uh, strain? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, how old is Tina? And how long is her hair? We are going to find out the answer. So pay attention, please. I will play the listening twice. Is it okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. Hope you are ready. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Okay, second chance. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Question number one, how old is Tina? She's 18. She's 80? 80. And second question, you say 80. She's 18. 18? How long is her hair? Short, short. long, okay. Short. short. You say short. short. And curly. And very curly. What color is her hair? Red. He's red. Does she wear contact lenses? No. Yes. Um, she, no has she has an interesting glasses. And finally, is her hair straight? Straight, sorry. It's curly. Okay, they say no, right. So let's see the answers. Are you ready? Two. Tina's 18. She's got red. Okay, she's 18 years old. Yes, you're right in the first one. Her hair is shoulder length. And that is short, right? And short is shoulder length. And her hair is red. No, she doesn't in number four. Does she wear contact lenses? No, she doesn't. You were right. She wears glasses, but just for fun. In number five, no, it isn't, it's curly. So you were right too, very good job. So to volunteer to practice in this. Me, teacher. Oh, thank you, Maria Martinez. Any other volunteer? Maria M. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Oh, thank you, Aida. So Aida, can you please read the question in Maria, the answers. Three. Rosie is pretty <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was this one, right? I'm sorry, I moved this. 
suele Perdón, estar. Pues, me distraje. ¿Qué parte leo yo? eh, answers y ahí da the questions. Ok. okay. How, how old is Tina? She is 18. How long is her hair? Her hair shoulder length. What color is her hair? Her hair is red. Does she wear contact lens? No, she does not. Is her hair strange? No, it's, it is not. It's curly. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, I can see that you have a problem with the contraction. So you say, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it isn't. And I got contact lenses. Contact lenses. Okay, contact, contact lenses. Contact lenses. Thank you so much. Very good job. Let's go with the listening number three. Here we go. The question are, what color is Rosie's hair? How old is she? How tall is she? And does she wear contact glasses? Is her hair long? So let's go. Are you ready? Okay, you will have two opportunities, right, to get the answers. Here we go. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Second chance. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Okay, what color is Rosie's hair? It's blonde. Blonde. Oh, you Her see. hair is blonde. Blonde or brown? I blonde. think it's blonde. Blonde. Brown. How old is she? How old is she? He has 10 years. He is 10 years old. How tall is she? She is pretty, pretty tall. tall. Does she wear contact lenses or contact glasses? Yes, she does. And finally, is her hair long? Yes, yes, she does. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, let's see if we're right. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair. Okay, here are the answers. Question number one, what color is Rosie hair? She has blonde hair. You would write, how old is she? She's 10. How tall is she? She's pretty tall. Does she wear contact glasses? Yes, she does. Is her hair long? Yes, it is. So very good answer. Let's move up to the another listening. And it's about Tim. So let's go. How old is Tim? How tall is Tim? Is his hair long? Those are the three questions that we are going to answer. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Second chance. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. How old is Tim? How old is he? He's 23. He is. You say 23? Okay. How 20? tall is Tim? Three. Okay, I he's have very to ask. tall. He's very, very short. It's very short. Very short. Okay. <laughs> and finally, is it her long? 
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, let's find out the answer in this part. Four. Tim's yes, about 23. Okay, he's about 23 or so. You were right. Somebody say 20. Uh, he is a fairly short. Okay, his fairly short is bastante pequeño. And he is his hair long. No, it isn't. Ah, casi, ¿verdad? Todos dijeron, yes, it is. No, it is. No, it isn't. That was the answer. No, it is. No, it isn't. Thank uh, you. And let's go with the last one. About Alice. What does Alice look like? How long is her hair? What color is her hair? And how old is she? We're going to answer these four questions after listening. So I hope you are ready to listen. Five. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Second chance for you to get the answers. Five. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. So here we go. Number one, what does Alice look like? What it's Alice very look? long. Uh, she's very long. What does Alice look like? Do you want to listen again? In this one? Yes, please. Yes, okay, let's go in the last round here. Five. Alice is very tall, and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Okay. What does Alice look like? How long is her hair? What color is her hair and how old is she? Anyone? She looks like a fashion model. Mm, okay, she's slim and she looks like a fashion model. How long is her hair? It's, it's very long. It's, it's long black hair. Okay, what color is her hair? Kevin say black. And finally, how old is she? Uh, Oh, no, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, about 25. Uh, Kevin, tell me. Teacher, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the, the two is very tall, and the three is long black hair. Um, okay, okay. Let's, let's see what's the answer. Thank you, Kevin. Alice is very tall, and she's... Okay, she's very slim. That is the answer for number one. She's very slim. She looks like a model, she said. Her hair is long, as Kevin said. Her hair is long. Her hair is black. And finally, she's around 25. Claudia, you were right. So 25 years old. She's around 25. Okay, so the question here are, what does Alice look like? So we are going to answer this. How long is her hair? What color is her hair? And how old is she? Okay, we are going to practice this four equation with your classmates. Uh, let me stop sharing this. Okay, look at Aida Marisol in this moment. And I have a question for all of you guys. And you are going to tell me if you want to answer. What does Aida look like? What does Aida look like? Tell me a sentence describing Aida in this moment. Anyone? If no volunteers, I'm going to choose somebody. And let's choose Claudia at this time. Tell me a sentence. What does Aida look like? Uh, oh, she's very. She... Ay, no, teacher. <laughs> ya, me, ya me perdí ahí. 
ah, ah, físicamente, como los adjetivos generales, podemos utilizar beautiful, cute, pretty, eh, you say slim, thin. She looks slim. Oh, she is slim. Muy bien, ella es esbelta. She's slim. Thank you. So now let's see. How long is her hair? How long is her hair? Her hair is black. Oh, that is the color and that's great. Esa era la siguiente pregunta. What color is her hair? But very good. Se adelantó. Eh, ahorita es how long. Is it short, long, or medium? Medium length. Vaya, Aida nos va a mostrar su cabello. Ah, ok. Ok, now tell me, Claudia. How long is her hair? Kevin, tell me. Do you have her, a sentence? Yes, her hair is long. Her hair is long, nice. And we can say very long, right? Her hair is very long. Uh, very nice, very nice. Thank you. And now let's see. Uh, the problem is that I can see you, right? The problem is that only tiene ahí la Marisol su cámara. And Kevin tiene a picture there, and Alfredo has a picture, and Claudia has a picture. So let's see, how old is Kevin? Tratemos de adivinar, how old is Kevin? In their 20, 20, 20? Okay, he's 20 years old. Is she right, Kevin? She said 20. Is she right? Your microphone? He's 20. Oh, he's 20. Oh, sorry, sorry. 25, 25? No, no. Uh, I am 24. Oh, okay. Ah, you were close. You were close. Very nice. So look at Alfredo pictures. How old is he? How old is Alfredo? He's 25 years old. He is in, in the hmm, 20, 27. 27, 25. Alfredo, how old are you, Alfredo? Teacher, yo creo que Alfredo dijo que estaba trabajando, pero que solo iba a escuchar. Oh, really? Did yes. he write on the yes. chat? I don't yes, know. Yes, in the chat. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it. Mm. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Alfredo. Then I'm sorry. So let's continue with the class, right? There is another important point that I want to uh, show you tonight. And it is about the order of objectives, right? Orden de los adjetivos. Cuando estamos utilizando muchos adjetivos, tenemos que utilizar un orden específico. Ok, thank you so much, Aida. Ya la despeinamos. <laughs> ok, thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. Eh, so let's go with this part. This is very important. And right order of the objectives. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see the presentation again? Yes, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Now, this is the order that we are going to follow when we are using a lot of apps to, to describe the same thing. But for example, uh, how for, let's see, hair. El cabello, por ejemplo, de una persona. Usted tiene una opinión, ¿verdad? Si es bonito, si es, se le ve seco, si se le ve maltratado. <laughs> So that is your, that's your opinion, right? And you say, ay, ese cabello lo tiene muy esponjado. So that is an opinion. Then size, 
el tamaño, que es size, which is long, medium length, or short. En age no tenemos en el cabello, pero sí tenemos shape. ¿Cómo es la forma del cabello? Si es pelo liso, decimos... Right. Stride. Si es colocho, decimos... Curly. 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 Si es muy parado, we say... Spiky, we say spiky. Uh, okay, then that is the shape, la forma. Then we have color. Then we have color, right, in this. So color, if it is black, brown, red. Now we can see purple, green, eh, yellow, and blonde, right? Generalmente no decimos amarillo, we say blonde. A menos que se lo haya pintado, we say, mire, sí, yellow, but blonde is the oh. right adjective. So when you are describing people, you need to worry about your opinion, the person's size, age, shape, color, and origin. Origin is de donde somos originario, de donde venimos. So for example, we are Salvadorian. Salvadorian. And other people is Colombian, American, British. So that is the origin. Let me show you an example, but keep in mind this. This is the order of the adjective, opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose. So let's see, for example, in this, right? Talking about the herd, we are going to follow this order. First, size, primero decimos el tamaño, size, then we shape, la forma, and finally the color. When we are describing someone's hair. So you are going to say, she has long, straight black hair. She has long, straight black hair. So can you see we have three adjectives here? We have long, straight, and black. Entonces, ¿cómo los vamos a ordenar? Primero el tamaño, la forma, and finally the color. So you can say, she has long, straight black hair. He has short, curly brown hair. So size, shape, color. So I can see, for example, Claudia has long, straight black hair. Am I right, Claudia? Uh, can you repeat? Claudia has long, straight black hair. Yes, you're right. Yes. Okay. So I can say Aida has long, wavy black hair. Aida, am I right? Yes. Yes, okay, now I can say, uh, let's see. Now, Maria Magdalena, she has short, curly black hair. Am I right? No, long brown hair. Ah, okay. Okay, nice. Long brown hair, but nos falta shape. Curly, it's curly. Curly, curly. curly. okay, excellent. Then uh, I can say Kevin. Kevin has short black hair. Short spiky black hair. Am I right? Yes. Okay, Kevin, tell me, do you have a question? Yes, I have a question, teacher. Um, what is the difference between long and straight? Uh, long is the size in large. Straight is liso, que el cabello es liso. Pero entre largo y, o sea, y, y, y liso, no viene a parecer casi siempre lo mismo. Mm, no, really, they are two different adjectives, right? So long is for size, long is para el tamaño, and straight es la forma del cabello. Mm. So that's the difference. We are okay. describing different things using this adjective. Okay. In this case, in this case, he has short curly brown. Um, he has he short has curly. Oh, curly Kevin, brown. do you mean yes. Kevin? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, Kevin, do you have a short curly brown hair? My hair. Yes. No, no, teacher. Is short. Uh, black, black hair. 
the shape uh is um train uh speak 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 spinning skinny or speak spiky uh, i don't remember i spike it spiky okay nice so let's see another example here so don't forget about this order so we say shape size shape and color size shape and color when describing someone's hair okay now let's see here look at this we are going to practice with this guy again do you remember him we described him yesterday so order of the adjective instead of saying he is handsome he is tall he's slim he's young he's american he's a man in lugar de diciendo una oración oración por oración puedo decirlo una sola poniendo en orden los adjetivos so he is a handsome, tall, slim, young American man. Can you see? I can describe him in just one sentence. But I need to put the adjective in the right order. So the first one in this case is handsome. What is that? ¿Qué iba primero en el orden de los adjetivos? Size. Shape, mm, size, size, shape, color. Let's go back to this slide here. The order is opinion, okay, size, opinion, age, age, shape, okay, color, color, origin, yeah. material, and purpose. Ah, claro, no es que no todos va, no vamos a utilizar todo este tipo de adjetivos en una sola descripción, pero así va a ir el orden. Solo vamos omitiendo los que no. Por ejemplo, material, when we are describing people, no podemos utilizarlo. Solo lo vamos, no lo usamos en este caso. But entonces, then, he is a handsome. Handsome is an opinion. I can say he is a handsome man. He is a ugly man. He is a very attractive man. He is a well-built man. So, opinion. Then we have size, tamaño, ¿verdad? Aquí sí tenemos tall, tall, short, or medium height. In this case, tall. And they shave. Then we have slim. Um, slim. And then we have young in origin, which is American man. He's a handsome, tall, slim, young, American man. Okay. So we can uh, describe one person in one sentence. Look at this other example. She's an addicted, sorry, she is an attracted, medium, high, slender, young, Colombian woman. Okay, look at the order Richard, of the object. What, yes? is, what is slender? Slender is esbelto. That is the meaning. A Colombian woman. So following the right order of adjective. Uh, okay. Look at this. Other physical characteristics that we can um, choose to describe physical appearance are wrinkles, freckles, mole, and the color of the skin. Pale, brown, dark, fair, tan, light, and brown. So wrinkles. What are wrinkles? Do you have an idea? What are wrinkles? <laughs> um, not really. Wrinkles. When you when we are getting old, we have wrinkles. Oh yes, and freckles. Some people have freckles on her face, on their face, or some people has. Okay, yes, and what about more? Some people have mold in different parts of their body. Lunares? Yes. Lunares. Lunares. And do you say camanances? Camanances? Any other name for that? Otro nombre para camanances? 
Arrugas. No, no ideas. Oh, okay, arrugas, wrinkles. Prequels, pecas, and moils, uh, lunares. Okay, and that is a homework for tomorrow, right? So we are going to find out what is the, how do you say amenaces in English? A very good question, Claudia. So let's see, let's go with the color of the skin. Have pale, brown, dark skin, fair skin, tan light, and tan light skin. Pale is like white skin, brown, is brown skin, dark, uh, dark skin, and ferret, también es blanco, piel blanca, tan light skin, una persona morena, bronceada, morena. Do you have any question in this? No questions? Okay, then, yes. Teacher, yes. pale and fair is the same. Yes, you can say pale skin or fair skin to refer okay. to someone who has white skin. Okay, thanks. And also brown and dark are similar to red. brown and dark, brown skin, dark skin. Okay, now let's go with this speaking activity. So using the right order of the adjective, can you describe this man, please? So you can write your sentence. Can you please write your sentence on the chat describing this man and follow the right order of the adjective, please? In one sentence, we are going to describe this man in one sentence using the right order of adjectives. I will give you two minutes for you to get ready. So remember the order of the adjective. They are opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose. So write in the chat your answer. Do you have it? Me now, please, if you have it. Well, you have to write that on the chat, so I will know if you're ready. So remember opinion, so you can say he's attractive, and he is handsome, he's good looking, He's well built. Then we have size, short, tall, medium height. Then we have age, young, old, in shape, a thin, chubby, slender, slim, in origin, American, Salvadorian. And I have the first answer. So let's see, he's elegant, he's medium height. I does say he's elegant, he's medium height. Um, yes, yes. He is an attractive, tall, slim, young. Okay, so relevant to origin, very good job. He is handsome, medium height, blunt, Slim, slim American man. Okay, very good job. Now he is good looking, pretty tall, 20 years old, slim American man. He 
she's good looking, pretty tall. Okay. Uh, we can write in this case, John. John's lean American man. A man, he says men. This is plural. Men is plural, so man. Almost perfect. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you so much. Okay, and just to finish, just to finish the class, uh, can you please answer the following question? Oh, I have another answer here. Just a second. He is short, short hair, brown hair. Oh, Aida, she is describing him. She is still describing him. He is short in brown. In este caso, he has, he has short hair. And he has brown hair. But very good job. Thank you. Very good try. Okay, just to finish, can you please tell me sentences describing her? Question number one, what does she look like? What does she look like? Tell me some sentences. She is pretty. She is pretty. Okay, excellent sentence. She's pretty. She is chubby. She is chubby. Okay, excellent. And then, how long is her hair? How long is her hair? She has long hair. She, she has, has long. She has. She has long waves, black hair. Okay, excellent. She has long hair. What color is her hair? She has long black hair. She mm. has long black hair things. Now let's see. Um, the other question was, how old is she? How old is she? Is she is thirty-two. Thirty. She is about thirty. She is about thirty. She is thirty-two. Okay. She's in her thirty. Okay, and last question, how tall is she? How tall is she? She's a very tall. She's medium height. Okay, she's medium height. Or, or, or pretty tall. She's pretty tall. Uh, does she look happy? Yes. Yes, she, yes, she, she, she looks happy. She looks oh, yes, she happy. Does. She looks very happy. Okay, nice. Uh, let's stop the class here. Uh, thank you for your attention and also for your participation. And before to finish, let me remind you about the exercises on the platform. Are you already working on the section number four? Uh, Kevin? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. No, yes. Anna, say no yet? No yet. No yet. And what about you, Joanna Maria? Are you working on the section number four on the platform? And Ada Marisol, are you working on section number four? Claudia? Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, mm -hmm. teacher. Mm, not yet, teacher. No yet. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So yeah. we we still have time, right? We still have time to complete those exercises. So don't forget that we need to complete them. Um, let's see. You have until Friday to complete the exercises. So please keep that in mind. And thank you so much for your attention and your participation again. And I apologize for the inconvenience that we have tonight with the, with the meeting. And thank you. Thank you again. Have a Good night and see you tomorrow. Bye bye, good, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.